Hi guys, I just want to take it, take a minute or two just to kind of discuss a little bit about balance training. It's a huge, huge part of training that a lot of people ignore, but it's extremely important because we balance every single day. Think about every single step that we take, we're always on one leg and then we advance to another. So it transfers over to things that we do on a daily and a consistent basis. So good information in is always going to equal good information out. So we want to take some time and show you some different things that you can do to really challenge your balance. And um, as simple as it may seem, it's really more difficult than it looks. So first and foremost, we're going to just talk about a single leg balance. And that's it. And what I want to start with is making sure, once again, your posture is in proper alignment. So shoulders back, tummy in tight, and feet pointed straight ahead. From there, just putting your hands on your hip and then just lifting one foot and making sure that you don't like drop the arch of your foot while you're doing this is extremely important and it's really hard for people. Um, think about if I had a grape and I put that grape underneath the arch of your foot. If you squish the grape, what happens is your knee's gonna cave in causing extreme stress to your knee, to also your lower back at the same time. Once again, another important reason of why to do balance training. So basically, start standing straight up and lifting the other foot right beside it so your hips stay in a neutral position. To, to make it more challenging, just bend down a little bit and try to hold it. And can you hold this and think about the arch of your foot at the same time, hold it for anywhere like 10 seconds or so, and then relax and then repeat. And doing this anywhere from five to 10 times on the same leg and then switching is gonna be really, really beneficial for you. Um, another thing to really keep in mind, if you feel the burning sensation in the arch of your foot, that's actually a good thing. It means you're waking up those smaller muscles that are in the arch of your foot that's going to help you maintain proper alignment. Alright, so these are just some little uh, tricks that you can do uh, just to begin with. And then when you feel very comfortable with that, you can go into something more challenging such as a single leg squat. And all you're going to do at that point is the exact same form of position. So you're going to lift, lift up the opposite leg. Tummy in tight, hands on your hips, and then just try to go down, making sure that your knee and toes stay in alignment. If you feel like you're gonna you know, wobble a little bit, you can use this other foot for support. Come all the way up, really squeeze your tummy and touch at the same time, and then repeat. So go down nice and slow, make sure that you can control it, pause, and then stand up. And then doing two sets of 10 to 15 per leg will really get a great workout in your, in your quad, in your glute, as well as help you in everything. 